Hey, I'm Trace and this is D News. And do you ever worry about robots? Because if you don't, it might be time to start. Robots have been part of human society for centuries. This is one of the oldest robots still in existence. It's from 1562. And pop culture today is still chock full of robots of all shapes and sizes. A robot is really just a simple machine that can perform complex tasks automatically. The problem is when those complicated tasks start to resemble emotions, complex thought, and intelligence. Cambridge University is not taking this sitting down. No way. Last week, they founded CSER, the Center for the Study of Existential Risk, to assess extinction level risks to our species as a whole. The main one, a robot uprising. Now that's all a bit freaky, but it's not like we haven't thought about our robot downfall before. The Terminator had its super advanced robot army, and the Matrix had its robot policed ultra high definition neuroactive simulation. But this ain't sci-fi. We're talking about reality. Sir Martin Rees, a cosmologist and one of the founding members of CSER, believes that by 2100, humanity will have been wiped out by a robot Armageddon. What if he's right? Do we stop building robots? Do we stop advancing in technology? Every new tech technological advancement in the field of robotics brings us one step closer to our downfall. Are we ready for a robot apocalypse? Heck no! But the robots ain't either. We found out this week that squirrels are on the side of the robot in this apocalypse. They taught robots to lie. Squirrels taught these robots to set up decoy hiding spots for their resources that tricks other robots. What the frack? Cross learned deception off their world domination list. Then there's the Robonaut, which has been working alongside astronauts on the International Space Station since 2010. But you know, it's great in space, but it's not like it has any legs, right? Okay, fine. The Robonaut has totally awesome off-road capabilities. <sighs> no problem. At least they can't just walk up the stairs and take us out one by one. They gotta stick to the... They can do that too? What are we gonna do? We're screwed. Okay, what if we just make good robots? Futurist Ray Kurzweil predicted that soon computers would be the size of blood cells so we can make nanobots that build up our muscles and bones and heal our cancers and keep us feeling awesome. Or maybe what if we just merged with robots? Kurzweil predicted that too. It's called the singularity. And a Russian mogul thinks that in the next 33 years, he can transfer his consciousness into a completely synthetic body. Then we can be the robots. Yeah, take that, toasters. <laughs> Or is that more scary? There's a lot going on in this field, but we do know this. Eventually, robots are going to learn complex reasoning and they are gonna to learn to mimic emotions and we're just gonna to have to acknowledge that they are like conscious life. Because if we don't, they're gonna get angry. And we wouldn't like them when they're angry. What do you think about all this? Robots, Armageddon, humans and computers merging into one. Leave us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to DNews to keep an eye on our stories all day, every day. You can also check out the description below for links to some of our best robot domination stories. I'm Trace, thanks for watching. Catch you later.